So this question was asked in gate 2017, electronics and communication engineering paper set 2, in which you have given a vector function f is e rotational, then you need to find out the constant k1, k2 and k3 which is uh, given in this expression. So the NPT reference for this question is uh, for this question is computational electromagnetics uh, by Professor Uday Khankoje. Uh, you can find uh, the reference in the lecture which is review of vector calculus, uh, gradient divergence, and curve operators. Now, the useful data for this question is if a vector vector function f is E rotational, E rotational, then its curve that is del cross F should be equal to zero. So the second useful data for this question is in the Cartesian coordinate system, in uh, Cartesian coordinate system, coordinate system where unit vectors along x is ax, uh, along y is ay, and along z is az, and the vector f, vector function f, is given as f of x ax plus f of y ay plus f of z a of z. Then the curl of this vector function f is given by del cross f equal to determinant a of x a of y a of z del y del x del y del y del over del z f of x f of y f of z so this way you can find the curl of a vector function f in the cartesian coordinate system now in the question you have given f equal to ax that is unit vector along x 3y minus k1z plus ay k2x minus 2z minus az k3y plus z so you can write del cross f equal to determinant ax ay and az del y del x del y del y del y del z and you write f of x which is 3y minus k1 of z you write f of y which is equal to k2x minus 2z and you write f of z which is equal to minus of k3y plus z now when you expand this determinant along the first row then you will get ax del y del y of minus k3 y plus z minus del y del z of k2 of x minus 2z. Now for ay you will get minus ay del y del x of uh, minus k3y plus z minus del y del z of 3y minus k1 of z plus az of del y del x of k2 x minus 2z minus del y del y of 3y minus k1 z so when you solve this partial de uh, partial differentiation you will get ax this will give you minus k3 and this will give you minus and this will give you minus 2 
so it becomes minus k3 plus 2 similarly the coefficient in the y direction it will give you 0 because there is no x so the partial derivative with respect to x of this uh, part becomes 0 similarly here you will get k1 and uh, here you will get k2 because k2 times x so the partial derivative with respect to x will give you k2 and this term will give you 3 so this is ay times k1 plus az into k2 minus 3 so now you have del cross f is is equal to ax minus k3 plus 2 minus ay times k1 plus az times k2 minus 3 so for vector uh, function to be e, e rotational it should be equal to 0 so for uh, del cross f equal to 0 all the components on x y and z should be equal to 0 so this becomes minus k3 plus 2 equal to 0 this will give you k3 equal to 2 k1 equal to 0 and k2 minus 3 equal to 0 so this becomes k2 equal to 3 so k1 is 0 and uh, k2 is 3 and 2 so the k1 k2 k3 value is 0 3 2 so option b is the correct answer for this question Thank you.